us first know who is Betty Newman and what are her credentials and backgrounds. Betty Newman was born in 1924 in Lowell, Ohio. Newman got her RN diploma from the People Hospital School of Nursing in Akron, Ohio in 1947. She migrated to California after getting her RN degree and worked as a hospital employee, head nurse, school nurse, industrial nurse, and a clinical instructor in various medical specialties. Betty Newman graduated from UCLA with a Master of Science in Mental Health in 1966. In order to educate nursing students an introductory course, Betty Newman created the system model in 1970. Newman's model was eventually published in Nursing Research after two years. In 1985, Betty Newman graduated from PWU with a degree in clinical psychology. Due to Newman's important contributions to the nursing profession, she was awarded an honorary doctorate of letters. According to Betty Newman, nursing is a unique profession that is concerned with all of the variables affecting an individual's response to stress. Major concepts Newman's nursing theory was based on the person's relationship to stress, response, and reconstitution factors that are progressive in nature. It provides a holistic approach to view any patient. It is about not only treating illness, but also the entire person. Model offers a comprehensive and all-inclusive method to the nursing that upholds a dynamic of flexibility. Newman describes human as having several lines of defense all that which protects the core. The core is the central structure that makes us uniquely human, our strengths and weaknesses. Before reaching the core, we have the line of resistance. These lines represent the internal factors that aid the person defend against stressor. This is involuntary Activated when a stressor invades the normal line of defense, it attempts to stabilize the client system and foster a return to normal line of defense. Examples is when a bacteria enters our system, there is an increase of n liquid site found to combat infection. A normal line of defense is a person's state of equilibrium or the state of adaptation developed and maintained over time and which is considered normal for the person. It is the middle ring that represents the person's normal or usual wellness state. It is composed of five variables. Physiological refers to body structure and function. Psychological refers to mental processes in interaction with the environment. Social cultural are the effects and influences of social and cultural condition. Spiritual are beliefs and influences related to spirituality. And developmental are age-related processes and activities throughout life. Following the normal line of defense is the flexible line of defense. It is flexible, dynamic, and can be readily and rapidly changed over a short period of time. It is a protective layer for preventing stressor from bre breaking through the usual wellness state. It keeps the system free from stressor and is dependent on several factors. Moving forward, we are going to talk about stressor. Stressors are all around us and affects us all differently. They can be intrapersonal, occur within the individual. Examples are infections, thoughts, and feelings. Interpersonal occur between one or more individual. Examples is role expectation. And extrapersonal occurs outside the individual. Examples are job responsibilities and finance concern. The next concept of the theory is reconstitution. It occurs following the treatment of stressor 
reactions marks the return of the client system to stability. Reconstitution begins following initiation of treatment. It may expand the normal line of defense beyond its previous level, stabilize the system at a lower level, or return it to the level that existed before the illness. The levels of prevention. The primary prevention. It focuses on protecting the normal line of defense and strengthening the flexible line of defense. This is carried out when a stressor is suspected or identified. The degree of risk is already known, but the reaction of the client may not yet visible. Secondary prevention focuses on strengthening internal line of defense, reducing the reaction of the stressor, and increasing resistance factor in order to prevent damage to the central core. This is carried out when symptoms from stress have already occurred. It involves activities that treat the symptoms. And tertiary prevention focuses on readaptation and stability and protects reconstitution or return to wellness state after treatment. This occurs after the active treatment. It readjusts the client system towards optimum levels of stability. The goal is to strengthen resistance to stressors in order to prevent re recurrence or reactions or regression. Newman's three-step nursing process. The evaluation of interaction among five clients for a day. Identification of the stressor resources in the intra, enter, and extra personal areas. Identification and differentiation of the client and caregiver perception. And attempt, an attempt to resolve perceptual differences. And the second is actual or potential variances from wellness. These are what most other theories call nursing diagnosis. The second process is the nursing goals, expected outcomes, specific desirable behavioral responses to deal with the actual or potential variances from wellness. It's decided jointly by the client and the caregiver. Plan to plan interventions, specific action of the client, the caregiver, or other to affect the expected outcomes. The third process is nursing outcomes, actual intervention, evaluation, and reformulation, analysis of specific client's responses, determination of the attainment of expected outcomes, if incomplete attainment, determination of cause of non-attainment, and the goal of reformulation as needed also. Main theoretical assertions. The main theoretical assertion, holistic and multidimensional, each client or client system is surrounded by a perceptual field that is dynamic equilibrium. All parts of the system are intimately interrelated and interdependent. Emphasis is placed on the total organization of the field. The organization of the field or system considers the occurrence of stressors, the reaction or possible reaction of the client to stressors, and the particular client as a system, taking into consideration the si simultaneous effect of the interacting variables, which is the psychological, physiological, sociocultural, developmental, and spiritual. Theory in view of metaparadigms. First is the nursing, a unique profession that is concerned with all the variables which influence the response a person might have a, to a stressor, person is seen as a whole, and it's the task of nursing to address the whole person. 
Newman defines nursing as action which assists individuals, families, and groups to maintain a maximum level of wellness. And the primary aim is stability of the patient or client system through nursing intervention to reduce stress. The role of the nurse is seen in terms of degree of reaction to stressors and the use of primary, secondary, and tertiary interventions. Next is the person. Human being is a total person as a client system and the person is a layered, multidimensional being. Each layer consists of five person variable or subsystem, which is the psychological, physiological, sociocultural, spiritual, and developmental. Next is the environment. The totality of the internal and external forces, interpersonal, interpersonal and extrapersonal stressors, which surrounded a person and with which they interact at any given time. The internal environment exists within the client system, and the external environment exists outside the client system. The created environment is an environment that is created and development unconsciously by the client and is symbolic of system wholeness. And the last is the health is equated with wellness, the condition in which all parts and subparts variables are in harmony with the whole of the client. The client system moves towards illness and death when more energy is needed than is available. The client system moves towards wellness when more energy is available than is needed. So that's all. The situation given was Monica, a 30-year-old female, was brought to Chongwa Hospital yesterday. She was diagnosed with COVID-19. She is experiencing labor and difficulty in breathing and loss of sense of taste. She is having chills and has a complaints of frequent height fever. She verbalized, Before I was admitted, I used to eat a lot, but I have since lost my appetite, for I cannot taste the food. Please help me. Don't let me die. Data Gathering Gathering data is one technique to identify the client's stressors. The nurse will develop perceptions during this process and pinpoint the patient's concerns. Monica was identified as having COVID-19, proving that she had the virus's signs and symptoms. The nurse came to the conclusion that the COVID-19 threat was Monica's primary stressor after conducting a thorough study. Nursing Diagnosis According to the assessment's findings, Monica's main stressor is the fact that she has COVID-19 symptoms, which have an impact on her eating habits and way of life. Nursing Goals Monica's recovery from COVID-19 is the anticipated result. 